All right, hello everyone. Shalom everybody and peace of the Lord to all of you. I hope my voice came in good from your side. Today we'll talk about politics and before we start, if you are a person who don't like my opinion, please give me a break and get out. You know, there is a lot of idiots, you know, they like you when they like, uh, oh, you, please talk about religion only, don't talk about, you know, uh, and look like you are the only one who knows about politics and the rest are stupid and dummy. Now, I don't want to say the same about you, but let us say you are a smart person and you are not a dummy. Let us say everybody is stupid and you are the only one who is smart. But we will talk about common sense if people these days, they know what common sense is. Common sense is that when you go to the grocery store and the prices are crazy, that means the one who is in control of the government, especially have no reason to have such a thing happening, he is not doing a good job. Common sense is that when you cannot afford uh, uh, to eat the same as you used to eat uh, two years ago, uh, obviously your government is just a bunch of dummy and they are uh, either scammers, either a mafia, either robbing you, whatever either. Uh, so don't don't give a school us about who is the one we vote for. I mean, ask your stomach. Unless you are a billionaire, you don't care really. I mean, if you are a billionaire, actually, when when, when things go hard. Usually the billionaires, the one get richer, you know, because uh, it's an opportunity to control more, to make more money. As an example, like when uh, there is a war, there is people who uh, make billions and trillions of dollars from war. Even war is destroying nations and burning houses and killing uh, human beings. But there is always people who they are going to be very rich because of the war. So it, 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 every, every negative thing have two sides. Like it's a war, people dying, but there's people they are having palaces and living the life of uh, kings because of people dying. So today we will talk about the uh, Kamala uh, versus Trump. For me, I'm not going to vote for Trump because his name is Trump. I never met him, I never saw him, I never sat with him. I don't know uh, Kamala. All what I know is their fruits. Uh, you know. Uh, you will see Democrats speaking about Trump. Uh, he's a rapist. Uh, somebody accused somebody of something, and the first one denied that he ever met her. And then, because the whole court is Democrat, the whole court, and you know, in America, the court is juries. And juries, if the juries, all of them, they are Democrat and they hate this guy, they are politically motivated. How I can trust your verdict? So, we know what's going on. They go after Trump case after case after case and this is can happen only in trashy countries junky countries this is, should not happen in usa trump he was their friend when he was out of politics you go and see see the picture of the guy you will see it uh, uh, uh hillary clinton in his house you will see all those famous ones in his house taking pictures with him he was the top guy for them the second he said to them no is the same same moment they wage war on him. He is not part of the of the team. He should be just a, you know a show guy, like you make a TV program. But don't be a part of politics. We did not elect you. We did not choose you. The mafia organization they have to approve you. You are not approved. You know you are in, you are entertainment show boy. So we do not need you know we do not need you to school us about who is right who is wrong. We can go to the grocery store right now and you can tell me the numbers. The numbers will speak. If Kamala Harris and Biden are successful, then we will have to say they are successful. I can play for you Kamala Harris herself saying that they are not successful, speaking about what happened. And what happened is that they are a bunch of stupid. You know, the first thing the, the, uh, the stupid Obama uh, gang you know because they have interest by the way don't take me wrong don't think that they are really favoring uh, such a like you know, you know they say they want to go green and this is no this is not this is not, not the issue it's about who is who is the one who sponsor you if they are sponsored by, by those who want to make electric cars then they will go for electric cars if they are sponsored by the oil companies they will go for the oil companies and if the crowd won't so-called the clean you know, green energy which is not exist until now then they have to go with the crowd in the same time we need to make money uh, uh, if i go to 
to Kamala Harris herself statement. Let me show you. We did it. There's a video posted in the internet of Kamala saying we did it. What we did exactly? Kamala herself, she will explain to you what she did. Let us see what we Kamala did. It. We did it, Joe. Everyday prices are too high. It feels so hard to just be able to get ahead. And prices are still too high. We did it. We did it, Joe. For many families, there's not much left at the end of the month. Cost this is stupid woman, she forgot that she is in charge. I mean, do you see the stupidity? Supposedly she is facing reality, but she forgot that she is the one in charge. So she is telling Muslim, sorry, telling, telling the, the audience uh, how, how harsh life is, how bad the life is. But how it become harsh? You ask her about the Trump, she said Trump did nothing. And then she is the one saying now things people cannot afford food. Is that the case during the time of Trump? Herself, she said no. <laughs> Joe, for many families, there's not much left at the end of the month. Well, what do you mean? Is that including you and Obama and Joe Biden and Hunter Biden? Which family are you talking about? You present who? are still too high. A loaf of bread cost 50% more today than it did before the pandemic. Ground 50%. She said before pandemic, by the way. This is a lie. Trump, he was in the office when Corona started. And the price of food did not change. 50%. Increase. That means your dollar reduced 50%. So what you used to pay to buy food for $100, now your $100 is equal to $50. You will eat half. But your salary is still the same. Which means the success of the Democrat is making your salary half. And then she say we did it. Um, beef is up almost 50%. The beef, she's saying that, not me, is almost 50% higher. And soon we will go and see why. Because they are stupid. The first thing Biden and this Harris, they did when they became in the office, they stopped drilling for oil. And we start buying oil. And it's not a secret, if you are buying, especially you are buying from your enemy, the food prices will go so crazy because everything is connected to fuel. The farmer, he have to drive a trucker. He have to run a machine. He have to process the food. He have to carry the food. He have to transport the food. Everything need a fuel. So when those stupid people, they decide we want to go electric cars, but yet nobody is ready for it and we don't have them yet. We don't have that. Where is the electric cars? Who can even afford it? They have a uh, woman like this uh, uh, from Puerto Rico. What's her name? Cassandra? I don't know what her name. The crazy women. She want to kill the cows. They are causing methanol. They are causing global warming, etc. I mean, those, those Democrats are mentally ill. They don't have realistic thinking. She want to kill the cows. The cows fart a lot. You know? But we did it. All what they care for, they are in the office, we did it. We did it, we did it, Joe. There's a serious housing shortage. In many places, it's too difficult to build, and it's driving prices up. We did so what, what is left? Food is so expensive, gas is so expensive, houses is impossible. So what those people did... And why any stupid monkey is going to elect people? They just say to you, look what we did.
Guys, is my voice coming good to you? Am I heard? Not for me, because Satan, he pee in your ears, as Prophet Muhammad said. And you know Prophet Muhammad and Kamala Harris, they don't lie. You know that. They never lie. So what is left exactly? I mean, what is your accomplishment? You are in the office, and then you ask her, who is in charge of the border? It's not her. Okay, is it uh, Biden? No, it's not Biden. So who is who in charge? I mean, who is in charge of this country? They wash their hands from anything. But we did it. Before they go, before even they go to the, to, the, to the White House, they start saying we should open the border. And then people coming from around the world. And then you bring those people. And just This is another scam, by the way. Many people do not know why they are encouraging migrants to come. As an example, the mayor of New York, he make money from those migrants. Hotels, hotels. They are putting the migrants in hotels. Who pay for it? The government. So the mayor of New York have an agreement with the hotel to get a percentage. <laughs> Business. You know, I mean, the, the, all, all what the hotel care for is having the rooms full. Who is inside? Who care? So instead of having 10% of our room is occupied only in the season, they are like busy. We will have it whole year rented by the government, paid by the stupid government, and you pay for it. So this is why democratic uh, states, they are so much in love with those migrants, even though many of them, they are criminals because they make money from them. But who is the one who make the money? Is the poor citizen who cannot afford to pay food, but they have to pay tax. They are scammers. Veterans who serve in the army, they are sleeping in the street. Migrants who they are wanted in their countries, they are sleeping in five-star hotels. So what the accomplishment of Kamala Harris when she say we did it? We did it. We did it, Joe. That as the price of housing has gone up, the size of down payments have gone up as well. The bills are... But she will help you. She said she want to give you tax cut of $26,000. But you stupid idiot. If the prices of houses increase five, six times more, your $26,000 tax cut, it's not that she's not giving you money, she's got tax cut. Why even a person need to pay $26,000 tax? Are you stupid? She's making it as she's doing you a favor. There's some areas you can buy a house for $26,000. You are giving tax to whom? But after you came, the house for 26000 became 260000 And the interest rate is 7 and 8%. During Trump, it was one and less. During Trump presidency, anyone can afford to buy a house because the interest rate is so, so low. We did it. That up. We did it. We did it, Joe. She did it, you know, and then you go and you see Obama speaking about the black people. Do you know she mean who? They are filthy racist. She mean the black people. Listen carefully and you will know what she is talking about. Fear us. Is that really what Trump, he stands for? Fear the black people? When you and your husband, you are in charge of the White House for eight years, what you did to the black people? Shall we show the world what, who you are? See, his, his limited, narrow view of the world made him feel threatened by the existence of two hardworking, highly educated, successful people who happen to be black. Hard working, educated people who happen to be black. You see how they play the, the race card? Uh, how come, you know, 
I mean, when you say somebody, he says like uh, Trump, he is threatened by highly educated people. What is your education exactly? You have a law degree? I have a law degree. Who make you highly educated? What a law degree have to do with education? You are just a stupid fool. A degree is not an education. A degree is a certified professional work or license. Degree is far from education. Highly educated happen to be that they are black. Who is the second person? Kamala is black. We have tons of videos of her saying she is Indian. Overnight, she became a black. So when she speak to the Indian, she is an Indian. She speak to the black, she is a black. It's election time. We know the game. And we don't care if a Trump, he was black or blue or white. We are not going to vote for him because of his color. Billy Clinton was so white, none of you complain. And he was, a, you know, a filthy bastard. His wife is no different. His scandals all over. How come nobody took him to jail? The guy, he took a false oath in the court. So she tried to present herself that they are the victims of the white supremacist. And the good thing is, there is a lot of black people who they are exposing their lies, saying, you don't present us, you are just a fraud. Because they knew that Trump is the only one who created investment zone just for a black community. No president before did that to them. It was a Trump who said to the black colleges, if we can call it the black colleges, I don't like even to use that term, but this is what they say. He said to them, you know what? From now on, you don't come to the White House begging for money. From now on, it's going to be renewed every year. It's not right to make you come to me asking me a favor. You deserve our support. That is a Trump. The one you accuse him that he hates black people. What your husband did to the black people. How many in his cabinet even they were black? Where even Obama she live? Tell him that the job he's currently seeking might just be one of those black jobs. See, oh, uh, Trump, he said that those migrants are taking the black jobs. They try to make it as a racist statement. But this hypocrite woman, she forgot that a huge number of the black community, they are poor. They are the one who work in landscape. It's reality. They work in cutting grass. It's reality. They work in a grocery store. It's reality. But this woman she is talking about, he doesn't know that this is a black job. What are you talking? How many of the black is the one who make billions of dollars like you? This guy is speaking real numbers. They are taking the black community jobs. Not only they buy food, we give it to the migrant who never work in this country. Never been in this country before. So they try to smear the guy. You know, I see Obama is the same as Muslims. They try to, to frame you. If you notice, all their speech is about framing the guy. He is a KKK. He is a white supremacist. He is a criminal. He is dirty. He is, he is a dog. Don't vote for him. So they scare the crowd to make the crowd be afraid. But if you want to be afraid, check out the clothes she is wearing and the purse she is carrying and the shoes she is wearing, and then you will see that she, right now as she speak, she is having more than $100,000 accessories between a cloth and earring and rings and shoes. Yet she is schooling you about who to be scared of. I saw a video giving the prices of everything she is wearing. Scary numbers. I'm not expert with uh, shoes and brand. I'm, I'm the last one to know, really. But I saw a video made by a Democrat showing you that Obama, she is speaking about the poor, but she is wearing the most expensive 
clothing you can imagine. What about the palaces they own? Where she live? This woman who is schooling you about the right and wrong and about the white supremacist, do she live between the black? No, she live between the white, rich, filthy, rich people. Michelle Obama also warned voters not to get in their own way. Take a listen. So folks, we cannot be our own worst enemies. You are the enemy. You are. If I, if we go check how much money those people they own. You see, Trump is rich from before. Trump is rich when he was a kid. Trump is rich when he is 30. Trump is rich when he is 40. Trump, he never took a government job. So if he is rich, he is rich because if he is rich, he is doing business. Those people get rich how? I want to know. You tell me. How Obama suddenly is a person who owns palaces? Where the money coming from? How Clinton, she owned those mansions? And then they school you about rich and poor. Mansions, yachts, I mean, they live like kings. From where? Where your money coming from? And then she schooled the poor Africans saying to them, we are the one who protect you. We are the one for you. Where you been? Houses everywhere, villas everywhere, yacht, free vacations. Yeah, but they are for you. They are here to tell you about food prices. Do you even pay for food? <laughs> what is that? You know, uh, people, they can give you speeches. People, they can uh, school you. But nobody pay for your food. You can vote whoever you want. If you are stupid, you are stupid. But those people are already proving themselves to be a failure. Already. And I want to mention the impact of electing someone, not Trump someone like those go check out what's going on in Europe just to show you how far the, 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 the impact of Trump bankruptcy in Europe is a skyrocketing do you see the numbers do you see guys the numbers when you see skyrocketing bankruptcy, that is telling you there is something wrong in the economy. You do not need to be genius to figure it out. Germany is facing bankruptcy in companies never happened before. Never happened before. You might say what this have to do with Trump. It have everything to do with Trump. Those stupid people they encourage Russia to attack Ukraine. They welcome Russia to attack Ukraine. When Putin, he tested them to see what they would do. So he brought some soldiers to the borders. And right away, Biden, he says, we will not intervene. We will not intervene. The German, the, the, the all European Union embassies closed down, shut down, and they left Kiev. And that invite Putin to come. And then... They found themselves they are in trouble. Trump is out. We forbid digging for oil. We forbid producing oil. We fight oil. This is the first command Biden he did in the office. To suppress and oppress oil producers. And then we have to put sanctions on Russia. Okay. Sounds smart. And then we go and buy oil from the enemy, which is Qatar. 
What? Yeah. We go and buy oil from Qatar. If we check the GB, GDP of Qatar, you will know what I'm talking about. Let me find it for you. Give me a second. Just to show you how stupid those people are. Uh, Qatar GDP. Let us see. Let me close some pages. Too many pages open. All their money is gone to Qatar and Saudi Arabia and Emirates. All right. Take a look with me. This is the GDP of Qatar by the help of the stupid Democrat in USA. And all European, they feel a victim for such a thing. You will see how dramatically the GDP of Qatar is going skyrocketing. This is Hamas. Qatar is Hamas. Qatar is terrorism. Qatar is your worst enemy. Qatar is the one who want to kill those Democrats. Qatar is the one who encouraged killing gays and lesbians. Qatar is the one who believed that atheists must die. Qatar is the one who is fighting the Christians. Qatar is the one who support terrorists, Iran, Hamas, Hezbollah. So the stupid Biden, he stopped digging for oil. And then he fly all the way to Qatar, kissing the ass of the Qatari terrorist regime, asking them, please, can you give us oil more? You stupid idiot son of Muta. Why you want to buy oil from them? How you want to go green, but you are buying oil? So what you did when you stopped producing oil? And now because of the election, they say, no, oh, no, we would not stop a fracking. We allow fracking. That's false. They reduce the number of companies who do fracking and digging for oil to a massive number. They put a lot of regulation on them to the point it's not cost effective you do not need by the way to suspend the license says i'm not going to give you I just add the regulation you say in order to bring uh, this to do this you have to bring this and this and this and then they, they check the number they say this is mission impossible the cost of producing became way more than the benefit so company will stop producing so the stupid government in usa have an impact in everybody and Europe now is collapsing because of the stupidity of Biden. When Trump was in the office, we are number one producer for oil in the world. If Russia sold oil or not, we have. We can give them. If Qatar have oil or not, it doesn't matter. We can give them. And by the way, that will impact everybody. Like if you are a person who live in Indonesia, still the price of food will go crazy because of oil increase. Oil price will, will affect everybody. There's many countries in the world are collapsing as economy because Trump is not in the office. It's not only about America. And the USA dollar is a shrinking as value because Trump is not the office. Because when we sell oil, people, they need to use dollar. It's a must. And when people buy dollar, dollar price will increase. And the value of your money will increase too, which means you will make money without making money, which means without doing anything. Just people need to buy your dollar. Now we have a BRICS, an organization trying to demonize America and try to say we do not need America no more. Let us dump their dollar. Let us fight them. Let us destroy them. China, India, uh, uh, you know, just to show you how a change of leadership can change everything. 
When Trump was in the office, Moody, the Indian guy, he was kissing his ass. Is that true? Yes. Because now America is strong. They invited Trump. Trump suddenly he is like a king of uh, in India. He is the best man ever because they needed the guy. Trump is gone. Who cares for Biden? America is weak. Moody now is a friend of our worst enemy, Iran. He is building for them ports. He took a side of anyone who's against America because he noticed Americans are not needed no more. We have a stupid, they have a stupid president. He, they are, you know, those Americans now, they are busy about transgender, not about economy. They are busy, this uh, Democratic Party is busy about the shape of a penis, not about the economy, not about the risk and the impact of political from around the world. No, what they care for is a transgender homosexuality, the flag of the gays. This is what they are busy about. Equality. <laughs> this is the truth. So world leader, they said, Who, what, what the heck will we do with those people? Those are mental, you know? I mean, the Indian, the Chinese, the Russian, everybody trying to control more territory in the world. The Turkish, Erdogan, he just signed an agreement with the Libyan government to take over Libya, all of it. All of Libya. Just yesterday. In the purpose of what? Turkey want to invade all of Europe, control, sorry, control all of Africa control the gas, the resource, and they get a license even to search for gas in the water of Libya. What Joe Biden and Kamala Harris are busy about? Equality of homosexual. Drag, dragon, what her, drag a queen? Show. A man wearing a skirt. Uh, we now use, uh, uh, we want to make the bathroom unisex. The, the world is boiling. We are in the verge of global war, massive one. And those who stupid Democrat, they are busy with the penis and the vagina. Am I making things up? Go check the news around the world, what they are talking about and what the American are talking about. Trump accused of raping a woman. That's the American busy now. Like, uh, what do you mean accuse? Anyone can accuse anyone. There is no proof even the guy, even he met the women. Not even one. They keep fabricating cases against cases at, uh, after, just to stop the guy. After all the fabrication, they could not stop him. They tried to assassinate him. So first they tried to assassinate him by assassinating his reputation. You see, if you see those speeches, this is a form of assassination. They are trying to smear the guy so nobody will vote for him. He is a KKK, he is a supremacist, he is a ugly, he is a fascist, he is a Hitler. He is a rapist. I mean, all of those is just to make him the most ugly person for everybody. Hoping that people will be stupid and they will, you know, they will believe them. How come we did not hear Michelle Obama speaking? Why, why you invited the Clinton to make a speech? The rapist Clinton. The one who fly to an island where children are brought for sex. Why you invite him to make a speech? Do you see the hypocrisy? A man accused of rape, accused, even, even the democratic verdict, all of them, they are democrat in the court, they say no, he did not rape, even in the court. But yet she bring Clinton, who is officially a sex like predator machine 
who is convicted with many crimes, who nobody asked him to go to jail, and then they want to ask his wife to take his place. It's like a family business. Tomorrow they will bring us Michelle Obama. They will say uh, she will be the president. And then Michelle Obama, she get old, they will bring her daughter. So I warn you people, those people, they are digging a grave for you. They are rich, filthy rich. They don't care what happened to you. They are the last one who want to take a bus or public transportation. They are the last one who will suffer for buying food. They are the last one to know what are you talking about. You go someone like Bernie Sanders speaking about communism, socialism, but he owned mil millions of dollars. Okay, if you are communist, why you have millions? I mean, what kind of communist you are? They give you speeches about right and wrong. But the second you check their money, you will not believe it, how rich they are. They buy cars, they never drive. It's just for fun. Why not? Obama, his brother, he lived for $1 a month. $1 a month, his salary. Obama, the king, how many hundred millions he make a month? And then they want to give you and they want to school you about rich and poor and what you can do and what you cannot do and what is the right one for you. Trump is rich before he become president. He is less rich after he become president. But we know that his money is not coming from a government job. You become rich, why? From where? When she speak about the black jobs, is she talking about someone he own a company or someone he is living in a mansion or somebody he owned Rose Rice? What a black job mean when Trump he said that? He mean people, normal people like us. People work in a grocery store, people they are doing landscaping, people who behind the cashier machine. Are you saying to me that this is an insult to you? He said job. He did not say crime. Just to show you the hypocrisy, those people. When George Floyd, George Floyd, he died. The whole media crying about George Floyd. But George Floyd, he, he committed a crime. How come just to show you how hypocrite they are. If a Trump accused that he made, he took a loan he don't deserve, we go 15 years back looking for something to find him guilty. The guy who was convicted with many crimes before, and even in the day he was killed, he was using fake money, which is a big crime, can destroy economy. How come this guy become a hero? And the other guy is ashamed. Oh, because we want to use him for a political agenda. Then George, you know, George Floyd, they have a golden coffin for him. Golden coffin? Where you been? The guy was poor all his life. Now you have a golden. And then every president, every minister, every congressman want to go in his funeral. What happened? Where you been when he was poor? But they want to use him for a political agenda. So he it happened in a perfect time before the election. So now suddenly Trump is the one who killed George Floyd. It is you, Democrat, who killed the guy. And the funny is that it happened in a city. The mayor is a black. The police is a black. The prosecutor is a black. The judge is a black. And yet they say he was killed because of discrimination just to use it for a political agenda. And they want to blame Trump for anything. 
You know, those uh, Democrats, they remind me of the Muslims in Israel or in the Middle East. If somebody, he could not have orgasm with his wife, he would blame the Jews. Like, honey, how come you could not make it tonight? How I can make it? I'm watching the news about Palestine. My private part is not functioning since I saw the news. They blame everybody for their crimes, but not themselves. Trump was in the office. We saw what happened. Prices was down. Countries, you know, all the wars happened. Happened because Trump is not there. Trump is the only one who did not go for war since long, long time ago. Every president come to the USA, including Obama, he go to war. Because war is a business. And I believe strongly that the number one enemy to Trump is the war in this story. You see, war in Ukraine, all of you, you know, that I, 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 I believe that uh, Ukraine is a victim in this war. But I believe it truly is at the same time that USA is the one who caused the war in Ukraine. They invited Putin to go there. They wanted Putin to go there. Why? Because all those who they are in the Democratic Party, they own a lot of shares in those war companies and emissions, missiles, bombs, our warehouses are empty. Business is so good. And the poor Ukrainians are dying. And we did not help them. And we used them. And we killed them. We invited the Russian. We told them we will not do anything. Just come over. Take over. The stupid Putin, he come over. They set a trap for him. Then they said, OK, we will support Ukraine, so the war will continue. So no winner, no loser, and the war will continue forever. This way, they kill each other, we make money, we are happy. For them, war is a business. And then they give you speeches about poor black. But when they go and buy a house, they don't live between the black community. Their friends, all of them, they are the white supremacists, the elite. Joe Biden was a perfect man for them. He's healthy. He's so good. He's so wonderful. And then the elite, they say, you know what? We will not donate to this guy. We will not invest in him. Overnight, they throw him like a cat in the street. The one who control presidency in USA especially for Democrat, and even, by the way, even Republican, they are not free of guilt of that, but it goes so far beyond your imagination. Actually, there's a video, I wish I can show it to you, I forgot the name, of a woman, she is Democrat, she always served in the, uh, like, in the convention centers for elections, for blah, blah, blah. So she made a video speaking about her experience and how she is disgusted. She noticed that the Democratic Party is not for the people. It is for the elite. They keep saying they fund the police. After calculating how much money they're spending for security of the elite coming for the DNC, it turned to be for everyone between fifty to $75,000 cost just to secure every individual. But remember, they are the party who want to defund the police, but defund the police, not the police who want to protect them. The police who want to protect you. So you call the police in your town, there's nobody, there's no cops in the office because we defund the police. But their police is all over the place. For their safety, come first. Who care for you? Defund the police when the police is protecting you. Bring the police when the police protecting us. Tens of thousands of policemen and private service police and special service, secret service, millions of dollars just to protect a bunch of elite coming for convention. But they fund the police.
Did you see the gangs coming from Venezuela, taking over Colorado, walking in the street with heavy machine guns? Did you see them? Where is the police? They can come to your house and they can take you, arrest you as if they are the government. And no police to be found. And then they school you about the right and the wrong. You know, the Bible teaches us how to vote. From their fruits, you shall know them. Is that correct? Those people are in the office. If you are an African American, listening to me, listen carefully. What they did to you, ask yourself. They can give you speeches as much as you want, but do they pay for your bread? Do they pay for your rent? Did they make your life better? If yes, then vote for them. If no, that means you need to do what you need to do. Don't let them fool you with the speeches of racism. If I go right now and I live between white, blonde American, I have an accent, it's obviously, and the second they know I'm an Arab, maybe they will not be happy. But I say to you, that America is the best country in the world when it's come to racism. You want to know racism? Go to the Middle East. Go to the Middle East if you are black. They will treat you. I don't want to use the, do, the, the, word, the word bad word. You will see what, what you, how you will be treated in the Muslim countries just because you are black. You can go right now, check what, just type racism in Morocco against black, racism in Tunisia, racism in Libya. And remember, those are African countries, supposedly. Those are African countries, but they are white. And they are Muslims. And they consider themselves Arab. I remember when uh, uh, George Bush was a president, he had a foreign minister. She is uh, an African lady. I think uh, her name, Condalina Rice, something like that. So in every Islamic TV, they say she have a bad news like her face. Racism there is not condemned. It's just a normal thing to say. And then when they come to USA, those Arab, they school you. If you don't know what I'm talking about. The Muslims in Iraq. They brought hundreds of thousands of a black African from Africa, the white Muslims. And then those millions of Africans who have been brought to Iraq for slavery, they did revolt. You know what they did to them? They killed them all. They slaughtered them all. If you do not know what I'm talking about, you can take a look. But yet they school you about right and wrong. They bring you Ilhan Omar to school you about discrimination in America. They 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 boot me out of the community of the of, of the Congress because I'm black. Oh, hold on. The one who boot you out are black too. They don't want you there because they don't trust you. The Democrat are a very, very trashy party based on misinformation, fear mongers, manipulating facts and make it work for their benefit just for the sake of election. After they are so-called elected, they don't know you. Do Ilhan Omar condemn her prophet saying, kill the gays? Yet she go and dance with them. She was wearing hijab. She claimed that she is a Muslim. Well, that is what Islam teach, kill the gays. Well, we have to use them now, so we dance with them.
They are voting for me. We are not a bunch of fools. We know better. Muhammad is a slave owner, slave rapist. He raped black people. He killed the black people. He abused black people. And when he died, he owned still black people. And I know I will see a lot of a stupid comment later saying Christian Prince stay away from politics or you will see someone he claimed to be Christian saying that Christians should not talk about politics. In fact, the reason those liberals are taking over because of those stupid so-called priests, they tell the Christians don't vote. This is uh, uh, politician is uh, politics is evil. Oh, okay. So we don't vote, and then they bring you a, a, the, the drag queen teaching your kid how to be, like, I mean, I don't know how to describe it. This is what happens when you don't vote. They change your school books. I mean, have you ever heard of anyone have little brain? He bring to a school a book about sex for someone five years old. I mean, who is the mentally ill here? They are pervert. All what they care for is their Gentiles. Abortion, sex, effing. This is an effing party. You like it or not. They don't want to talk about what's going on. They want to talk about equality. Okay, who is the equality? Why you why you bring famous celebrity if you talk about equality? Why you don't bring someone is poor, homeless in the stage? Why all the ones who they are in the stage they are shiny with earring and look at the nails of you know how many women they have those nails and she is hardworking women. You are a hardworking woman, right? Is that why your nails is so long? Is that because you never wash this, your dishes? How many maids you have, Michelle Obama, at home? Where you brought them from? From the Philippines? Practicing slavery? Like the Arab? My people? What those people they do for a living? Who made coffee for them? When the last time you made a meal by yourself? So I say, we have to vote for Trump. And I will give you one more reason to vote for Trump. Is that if the enemy don't want Trump, that means Trump is the one you should vote for. If Iran, the one who said death to America, every morning, want Kamala. That means Kamala is a disaster. When your enemy want Democrat, that means your enemy, he knew what they are doing. China, they want Democrat because the economy of USA is going down and their influence in the world is going down. China is taking over, Russia is taking over, uh, Turkey is taking over. And what the American busy, busy with the equality, dragon queen. Biden, he made a victory. He put the flag of the homosexual in the White House as if he, he reached the moon. The whole world is busy with something and they are busy with something else. The world is, the, you know, is, is the planning for America how we can doom the dollar, the currency of America, so the American economy will collapse. And the American are busy striking for free Palestine, which is an enemy.
want to kill every one of us. If you go now to Gaza, those homosexual, queer for Gaza, for free Palestine, if you go there, you will be dead in two seconds. Not to mention, you will get the pleasure of being raped in case you like it. Those are the ones you defend. So we do not need to prove that Democrats, they are not common sense people. They lost it. They support their enemy. They support the one who want to kill them. They support the one who discriminate them. Just be, they become, they be, they've been told that Israel is evil. What if you go there? What will happen to you? What if we take 3,000, 4,000 queer and we send them to Gaza and we leave them for there for a year? How many will be left alive after 30 days? 10 days. <laughs> How come there is zero queer in Gaza? Oh, because Gaza is a place where they don't discriminate and they respect everybody. Right? Zero? I mean, have you, they ask Ahmed Najad about gays. He said, we don't have gays in this country. What are you talking about? They ask Kadarov in Chechenia. Well, what about gays? He said, Wait, what? What gays? They don't have gays. <laughs> they have zero gays, zero atheists, zero homo, zero, and zero. Everybody is a true Muslim here. Because there's no freedom. Everybody agree on one thing, Prophet Muhammad. But nobody atheist. Nobody is uh, effeminate. Nobody is... Uh, 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 homo, nobody is. There, there is no, there is no such a thing because we have a democracy. We, we are, we are Muslims. You know. I don't like really to talk about politics, but enough is enough for us as a Christians. The enemy of a Christ are taken over because you Christians don't go and vote. The Antichrist are in control of your schools because you Christians went to sleep for long. The Antichrist have voice, but you don't. Because your stupid priest was saying to you for tens of years, politics is of the devil. You know what? You are the devil. Because if you don't vote against Satan, you are voting for Satan. Is that correct? And we have tons of verses speaking about standing against evil. So if the only one to stand, the only way, the civil way to stand against evil is vote, then we vote. Trump, he said, if the Christian vote, it's over. And he's right. If the Christians go to vote, it's over, but they don't vote. We are the massive majority. We are not only the majority. And then you will see every one of those Democrats, they will kiss your ass. Because those Democrat leaders are ass kissers. If they notice that the Muslims are the one who can change the election, they will kiss their ass. If they notice the one who can change the election is the homosexual, they will kiss their ass. They will kiss the ass of anyone as long as you are the one who can make them win or lose. You don't go to vote, you are a loser. Don't cry, for they will do, it, will do it to you. It's your, it's your, you know, fault. It's your crime against yourself. Huh. Somebody saying that her pastor has said to her that voting is racist. Bring the guy here so we can shower him with stupidity. Don't listen to monkeys. Jesus was voting every day when he makes speeches. Every day Jesus, he vote. I am the way. That is an election time. I am the truth. That is a debate time. I am the resurrection. That is a fact time. When Jesus make a speech, is not doing politics. But he's asking you to vote with your free will to choose your leader, the one who can save you.
Christianity is about election. And when the Lord said, from their fruit you shall know them, well, let us check. Kamala herself, she said, that food during Trump was so cheap. We did it, Joe. We did it. So everyday prices are too high. It feels so hard to just be able to get ahead. And prices are still too high. We did it. We did it, Joe. For many families, there's not much left at the end of the month. Costs are still too high. A loaf of bread. How much you paid to uh, to color your hair? I mean, you are blonde. You are black, but you are coloring your hair blonde. I want to know why. And I look at your face. I don't see a black woman. I mean, what is the black woman in the black woman? I mean, are we are we color blind? We did it, Joe. We screwed you. The Democrats, they are so good in changing color. They are so good in flipping flop. She is against oil fracking. She is supporting oil fracking. She is supporting green uh, energy. She is now, you know, just for the sake of election. Don't complain when I say I'm black, blonde, African-American from Japan. I'm Democrat when I say that. I used to go to Christian rooms and they bounce me. And I don't know why they are bound. I just, I did not even say anything, you know. In my profile in Pal Talk, I have like for a joke, you know, I'm black, blonde, African-American from Japan looking for four wives. Call me at this number, which is not a number. They bounce me out. You know, <laughs> but I was just you know, looking for four wives <laughs> between the age of six to nine. Halal, you know. So I'm just making fun of Muhammad and how Muslims they lie. With the Asian Prophet Muhammad, he loved Asian. But we open the hadith, we see how he make mockery of the Asian. With the black, or oh, Islam is for the black. But then we check, we find that Muhammad, he says it clearly that Allah, he cursed the black and he made them black for a penalty. He will send them to hell. And then we check, we find that Muhammad is a white to the bones and he is a white supremacist. But when they make speeches, they change everything upside down. Suddenly Muhammad is for black. Muhammad loved the Asian. Muhammad is against racism. Islam is came to change racism when Islam, all of it is about racism. How we prove that each time we go live online. The one who fought racism is the one who never owned a slave. Did Jesus own any slave? Ask yourself, did Muhammad own slaves? Many and many and many. So don't give me speech about who owns slaves and who is against slavery. When your leader, he owns slaves. And those Democrats are no better. They own slaves. They are billionaires. They never wash dishes. They have slaves to wash their dishes. They never cut the grass. They have slaves to cut their grass. They don't even drive their cars. They have a slave to drive their car. And then they say to you they are against slavery. They say something and they stand for something else. They talk about the poor, but they do shopping in the most expensive stores. They talk about the poor, but they live in the most expensive neighborhood. And if somebody is poor, walk in the street, the Secret Service will stop him immediately because he looks suspicious. Why? Because he is poor. Am I lying? If an average poor black person walk in the neighborhood of Obama, how many meters he will be able to walk in that street before he get arrested or questioned by the secret service but if somebody driving a rose rice a white blonde guy who is going to ask him what are you doing here you know nobody right but if you are poor if you are poor nobody call you sir 
If I go to an expensive hotel and my, my jeans is ripped off, unless it's a fashion, and my clothes are dirty, they will kick me out in two seconds. And this is what will happen to you if you go to their houses or even get a clothes or even try to get a clothes. What about we send the migrant to their houses? What they will do? They call the police immediately to arrest them. We did it, Joe. We did it. So I hope when the election, actually there's tons of videos I can play for you. I mean, they are hilarious. I wish I can find you the, the, the video of this woman who is, she is Democrat. Uh, let me see if I can find it. I forgot the name, but I'll try. Let us see. I just searched, I find many, but not the one I'm looking for, because I don't know what they say there, so I, I don't want to play. Yeah, you know, she, she exposed them. She worked with them for many, many years. You know, almost every single senator, you know, she said, this is the party of the elite. The rich, the filthy rich, is not a party for the people. Maybe if I go to history, I can find, but I think I don't save history in my channel. Let me see. Uh, <laughs> we did it, Joe. Yeah, it's going to be hard to find it. However, they hope that you are dumb and stupid and they can use you and abuse you. The only video I found in my history, Prophet Muhammad, Hadith about 14. I mean, how come the history of my YouTube register that, but not the rest? Like, is it because like it's farting thing? Okay. Let us see. We have to. We have to admit, farting is so important. Anyway, we go on. I'm sure the Democrat one day they will make uh, like uh, uh, some, uh, you know, kind of uh, coding for farting, like are causing global warming. You know, they will make a law to forbid you from farting or limit your fart. Like you can fart once a day because your fart is causing. Just wait. I mean, they are crazy. They are mental. CP never let unburden what has been to be unburdened. Uh, how about you two guys? Do you hear me? And Rambo? Rambo? Am I still heard? All right. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I cannot find this video, this video. It was a hilarious video. I wish I can find it for you. Those are so dumb, so stupid, and the best exposure for them is the one who is one of them. You know, they fund the police, but they brought a lot of security to protect the elite, the rich. Every one of them have five, six security around them. But they fund the police. Yeah, for the poor ones. To so the poor ones, they die in the street, they get killed, they get shot. But when it's come to them, no, they don't defund the police, they bring more police. They want cars with double windows and bulletproofs. They fund the police. Yeah. A bunch of hypocrites. Anyway, I'm not going to keep you longer. 
I hope we learn something good and I hope this coming election you guys you go and vote and remember if you don't vote against the devil you are voting for the devil don't give me any excuse don't tell me I don't care for politics don't you know all of this is a sign of a stupidity because politics is mean the price of your food politics mean the price of your gas politics mean your safety and security Politics is not about just them. It's about you, you idiot. So don't tell me I don't care for politics. By choosing the wrong leader, you can destroy your country or you can build your country. Many nations have been destroyed because of leadership. Not because the country was weak. A weak leader is the biggest reason to control, to destroy, or to flourish. A bad leader so don't say I don't care that is a stupid statement they will come rich people only so take a note and remember that always rich people are welcome everywhere if you go right now check online buying citizenship what is required to buy a citizenship of any country in the world, including USA, is being rich. If you are rich, any country in the world will come you. And every country have different budget to welcome the rich, but not the poor. A poor, you will never be welcomed. Australia, Canada, America, any country in the world. Some they say you have to have two hundred fifty thousand dollars investment. Some they say five hundred. Some they say a million. But nobody will come the poor. Rich people they don't have citizenship because they fly with their money, wherever their money goes. As the Bible says, your treasure is where your heart is with your treasure. Their treasure is their money. They don't have citizenship. If Elon Musk now, he says, I am going to migrate to Turkey, Erdogan will kiss his ass to come. They will worship him there. It's reality. In USA, they are making cases against the guy. They want to make him close the business just because he support Trump. I assure you, if Trump, he did not win the election, they will end putting Elon Musk in jail. For this Democrat or a mafia. Anyone who support Trump, they will put him in jail. And that will make everybody fly. Everybody leave and the country will collapse. Check out how many they are leaving California. How many are leaving New York. Nobody want to live there no more. In the same time, other countries are fighting over those high-quality businessmen. You know, Elon Musk, once he went to Russia, and he offered them to start spaceship business with them. The Russian laughed at him. They laughed at him. He said to himself, they are the one who have, they make engines. The Ukrainian at that time, they are the one who make the engines. Let us make a deal with them. His dream is to go to the space. It's not about, uh, you know, like a glory of a country. This is his dream. They made fun of him. But imagine if the Russian at that time, they accepted the guy and they allow him to do his business there. Russia will be the lucky one to have this guy. What the American are doing to him here? Chasing him like, 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 like a dog. Anything he say, they sue him. Anything he say, this, you know, anything, anything, just anything. They get so upset because he involved in politics. If he is supporting Kamala, he will be their hero. They get so upset because he bought a Twitter. They want a Twitter under their control. Oh, this guy is not like us. Oh, Twitter now, we lost Twitter? We will not accept that. <laughs> this is a gang party. This is not even a party. 
This is the party of the elite, the rich, the mafia, not the party of the people. They are the party of slavery. They are the one who supports slavery. And now they claim that they are the... I mean, do you see how they change their color? That, that the Democratic Party is like a lizard. There's some lizard, they go over a brown rock, they are brown. They go over a green rock, they are green. That is the Democratic Party. They supported slavery for a long time. They have a war for it. And now they claim that they are the one who defend the black people. You see how they switch and they change their skin like a snake? That is a snake party. And you know better. And when I came to this country and I get the right to vote, they told me that people like you, they vote for Democrat. But I look at those Democrats. I mean, they are, they are, they hate this country. They are the only one who burn the flag of the country. They are the only one who make fun of somebody join the army. How in the world do I want to vote for those? How they can be proud American? In the election, they say they are proud American. But Obama, he says, only losers join the army. Go check the video. Only losers join. But in the election, they say we honor those heroes. When he become president, suddenly he honored those heroes. Before he is a president, only losers join the army. And I assure you that his son or his daughter will never join the army. They are so rich now. All right? Anyway, we talk, we say, some listen, some they don't. But we do our part. So I say, if a Trump he won, that will impact all of Europe, not only USA, will be for the benefit of all of Europe. Companies are collapsing in Europe because of the oil prices, because of the energy prices. And all of this happened because Trump is not in the office. So you should know, even if you are at the end of the world, electing Trump will make your life easier. For if America start producing oil as before, the price of gas and oil will go down massively. And then the price of your food will go down. And the price of your transportation will go down. And the price for electricity will go down. Everything will be better. When there's only limited producers and the demand is so high, price will go up. You do not need to be a genius to know it. In America, we have a massive amount of oil and hydrogen. I just saw an article a week ago about a new discovery of natural hydrogen, you see, a massive amount. This is what we want. We don't want those stupid Democrats. They want to go green, but they are not green at all. They want to go green by buying oil from Qatar. This is how stupid they are. They want to go green on papers. But in reality, they don't, for they cannot. It's just a fiction. It's not. We are not ready for that yet. Exactly like the Muslim, you say to them, the Prophet, he said, the sun set in murky water, they say to you, it's metaphorical. We say to the stupid Democrat, you stupid Abdul, you need oil. We are not ready. Where is the green you are talking about? We don't have the capability of producing such a green energy. We are not ready yet. When we are ready, good for it, you know, go for it. But we are not yet. They want you to have a metaphorical food. They give you metaphorical speeches about prices. You go to the grocery, you see the metaphorical speeches of Obama doesn't work. However, we did it, Joe. We did it. And look at those fake videos, you know, who in the world wanna believe that somebody started, I mean, uh, record, 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 I'm going to take a call, we will make a call. I assure you, even nobody is talking to her. Nobody is talking to her, you know? Like, we did it, Joe. Did it, we did it, Joe. <laughs> Everyday prices are too high. It feels so hard to just be able to get ahead. And prices are still too high. We did it. We did it, Joe. For many families, there's not much left at the end of the month. Costs are still too high. A loaf of bread?
cost 50% more today than it did before the pandemic. And I assure you, she did not even write what she is, she, what she is saying. Somebody wrote it for her. So now she wanna present herself that she knew your pain. She will fix it. You've been there for four years. What are you talking about? Oh, we are going to put, uh, uh, we will fix the price. You stupid, who, who in the world can I believe such a thing? How you can fix the price? How you can do that? If the farmer is costing him, etc. money, you have to pay him that money. Otherwise he will stop farming. Are you stupid? You can fix the price by being by paying the difference in the in the price, which means you have to pay the farmer his full price, and then it's sold to the customer in half price, which means the government have to pay the difference. This is the only way. But that already you are bankrupt. This is a communist statement. And will go nowhere. I can't believe it how stupid they are. When I say his stupidity is amazing, I mean it. Anyway, I want to say thank you guys for being here. Feel free to download my videos. And I say I will never vote Democrat in my lifetime and even after death. For I believe strongly that liberals, whoever vote for liberal is stupid. For liberals don't stand for liberalism, they stand for slavery. This is what they stand for. Communism is, is a slavery. It's never about freedom. They will silence you. They will mute you. They will censor you. They will kill you. They will jail you. Yet they claim that they are the one who speak for the people. Go check what those who they are communists, what they do to their own people. Go to China. Go to North Korea. Go to the Middle East. Go, go, go check it out. The second you make a statement, you and your family disappear. And this is what Democrats trying to do here. They are going after Trump and his friends one after one. Name for me one person support Trump close to him is not ending having a case or bankruptcy or in jail. All of them, even his lawyers. For the Democrat are nothing but a the mafia. They are not democratic. Anyone who oppose them, they chase him. They use all tools of government. To get rid of you. This is not the America they promise you. This is not the country of a freedom of speech. Here in YouTube, how many times I my, they took my channel? Do you know? Do you know why I have a small number? But did you ask yourself how someone like me, you have like a hundred eighty-seven thousand only? How come? Does it make sense? Because anything I say, they take my channel down. This is the truth. But if I am one of them, my channel will have millions of, of, of subscribers. Imagine once YouTube, they send me an email saying to me, you are using the material of a Christian prince. What? I'm a Christian prince, you idiot. Therefore, we are suspending your channel. Idiot! I'm a Christian prince. And shouldn't Christian prince report the Christian prince for copyright? I mean, nobody complain. And I am a Christian prince. I mean, can you? they are looking for any excuse to take my channel down. I could not believe it. Like, I'm using who? Like, maybe some other videos or somebody. You are using a material which does not belong to you. It's like Joe Biden saying to the black guy, you are not a black if you don't vote for me. So suddenly, I am not a Christian prince if I don't vote for them. They decide your identity, they decide who you are, they decide what you, they decide for you who you are. That is the Democrat. Rats. The party of rats. They want to chew. 
right? Anyway, <clears throat> I will not keep you longer. I think we have enough for today. Feel free to download my videos. If you like it, like it. If you don't like it, who care? And don't forget to leave your comment and be upset from me. I'm the last one who care about who get upset. We say things as it is. We don't sugarcoat. And we are not people who sugarcoat. And we will never be. People who they are sugarcoating, they never have something to say. They are not people. They are not... They are not honest. They have no decency. And I warn everybody that if you start compromising, today you compromise one thing, tomorrow they will compromise two things. The day after three things. And then after a few years, you will find yourself, you compromise everything and you lost your freedom. Never compromise. Never. Otherwise, the devil, he will take over you. They are changing our dictionary. You cannot say gay. Why? You cannot say this. You cannot say that. You cannot say... They tell you what to say. They are dictating what to say. And they speak and they claim that they are people who speak of a freedom. We say it as it is. You like it, like it. You don't like it, get lost. You cannot say Merry Christmas, Obama, filthy Obama. No, we can say Merry Christmas. And we will say it forever. Eight years of Obama, nobody can say Merry Christmas if you work in the government. They start sending emails saying Happy Holiday. Why it's Happy Holiday? Why, why it's so important for you to cancel the word Christmas? Because they are the enemy of a Christ. And then when you vote for those Democrats, you claim to be Christian. You are an antichrist when you vote for them. For they stand for everything against your Bible. Obama, he go to TV. He explained to us the importance of Ramadan and Prophet Muhammad. The same Obama, he canceled the word Merry Christmas. Obama, he opened a mosque in the White House for Muslims to pray. The same Obama, he make fun of the Bible. We know the agenda. We know them. Hey, CP, can I ask you a question? All right. Um, so I've been listening to you and taking down notes, right, about... Um, I know you're talking about politics, but um, I've been writing um, notes about Islam like and references, like Surah 21, uh, verse 82, it talks about the magic carpet. I got Sahih Muslim. Um, 1453a, Sahih al-Bukhari, etc. And I notice all my notes are based on not the Quran, the other book. I forget what it's called. The What's that, those other books called? It's hadith. not the Quran. Hadith. Yeah, yeah, the Hadith. Exactly. So I notice all my notes are from the Hadiths. So I just wanted to diversify my notes here and add some stuff on the Quran. So... I want to, like, if you give, give me one or two crazy things like magic carpet, flying dog, my feet, friend, my friend. breastfeeding. You see, I, I go live every day. Oh, what you need to do is just yeah. sit here because we show Quran, we show Hadith, we show everything. If you took only notes about the Hadith, this is your fault, not my fault. But when I go live, I don't say only about one thing. I speak about everything. So just keep coming here. Or you can go watch my videos on other channels and you will get tons of reference about the Quran. All right? Okay, okay, okay. Right. Thank you. All right, you're welcome. All right, I think we have enough for today. I wasn't really planning to go live, but uh, I wanted to to give my share about the election. I hope people will speak to other people so we can change the mind of people who they falsely been accusing Trump of being a bad person. And remember, I'm not voting for Trump because he is the angel of God. No, but he go by common sense. He will make your food cheaper. He will make your housing easier. He will make your energy so acceptable. But don't, we're not expecting him to make us go to the moon. No, no, no. But those Democrats are out of common sense. They are mentally ill. They are like a fiction movie. All what they are worried about is LGBTQ. Well, that will not feed anybody. That will not stop dictators. That will not bring flourishing to a nation. 
All what they are busy about is bathroom, is penis, is vagina, is gender, is transgender. They will not do anything except those things for their agenda have nothing to do with anything is right. When the president of the America, he put the flag of the LGBTQ in his White House, what exactly that mean? Is, are we replacing the flag of America now? How come nobody get upset? I mean, this is America. What if a Trump, he put a cross flag? They will, they will go crazy against him. Am I lying? This is what they are busy about. What for them is this kind of people. But if you are from the other kind, and I want to use the word kind, because they are the one who make us a branches kind, you know, the kind of Trump. You are the kind of a Trump, they say. You are the kind of this and that. And they say they are not people who discriminate. They call you fascist, they call you... Nazi, they call you Hitler, they call you anything. You call you Islamophobic, they give you all titles. But they are the one who have a phobia from the cross. They have a phobia from the Bible. They have a phobia from everything. And they praise the animal Muhammad. When Joe Biden, he go and he praise Muhammad, ask yourself what he was saying. Biden, he said, Prophet Muhammad said, if somebody says something wrong, change it by your hand. So what Biden was saying, He's asking Muslims to do terrorism. He's asking Muslims to kill anyone who don't agree with Islam, including the LGBTQ. This is how stupid they are. Prophet Muhammad he says, if you see something wrong, change with your hand. What Muhammad he says? The one who do the act of LGBT, what? Kill him. Am I lying? I can show you the reference right now. So those are stupid Democrat. They need vote for Muslims in Michigan. They quote Muhammad. Even if the court is against everything they stand for. Do you see how hypocrite they are? Election. No matter what. No matter how. And now the Iranian regime and Hezbollah is commanding the Shia in Michigan to vote for Kamala. For if Trump, he won the election, Hezbollah and the enemy of America and Iran, they will be suffocated. And that is a no-no. For us, it is a yes, yes. Thank you all for being here. May the Lord bless you. And until we see you soon again, God is good, so is Jesus. And feel free to download the video before YouTube take it down, as usual. You know the thing. See ya.